there's a lot of Android applications out there that are just poorly optimized. They might have been coded for a previous version of Android and then using them on newer ones just doesn't allow them to work right. And they could also just be poorly coded anyway. Whatever the reason, if you notice that your Moto G4 or Moto G4 Plus just doesn't seem to be running like it used to, this could be anything from overheating to poor, for poor performance and especially bad battery life. If you ever notice something like this, it could be from a third-party application that you have downloaded from the Play Store. Now, unless you have root and install something like Better Battery Stats, it's going to be hard to find out if it's a third-party application or not. But there is a way to a troubleshooting step that will tell us if it is a third-party application that's causing the issue. Now naturally you could go and uninstall all of your third-party apps. You could do a factory reset too. But that's going to take a lot of time when compared to this troubleshooting, troubleshooting step. So I'm going to show you how to boot the Moto G4 and Moto G4 Plus into safe mode. And this is going to disable all of your third-party applications. So to do this we're going to long press on the power button to bring up the power menu and then we're going to tap and hold on the power off option. This is going to bring up a dialog box that asks us if we want to reboot into safe mode. It tells us that it will disable all third-party applications and that all of those third-party applications will be restored whenever you reboot the device again. So we're just going to tap on OK. Then we'll see the Moto G4. I actually have the Moto G4 Plus reboot. And then it's going to boot right back into Android. And once we get to Android, you can see that we have a watermark at the bottom left of our screen. This is to remind us that we are in safe mode. And you'll also notice that any third party applications that you have installed are now gray. So as you can see, Push Bullet normally has a green icon, but now it is gray. I also have this test your Android app that I downloaded from the Play Store that is now gray instead of in full color. Now if we try to launch one of these disabled applications we'll get a toast message that reminds us we are in safe mode. But all of your other applications that have been pre-installed by default and they're not from you downloading from the Play Store will work as normal. Now the idea here is you want to boot into safe mode and then use your device as you normally would and see if you experience the same issues. So if you had poor, for poor performance go ahead and reboot into safe mode and see if the performance is better. Now if you had bad battery life, boot into safe mode and use it for a day, maybe you only, maybe you only need about 6 hours, and then compare the battery life usage to how it was whenever you experienced the poor battery. The same thing with overheating, if you feel the device is getting too hot then it, then you think it should, boot it into safe mode and see if it heats up like it did. This can be used to troubleshoot any issues from force closes. Maybe you feel an application that you installed 
is interfering with another application and causing it to force close as long as both of them aren't third-party apps that you installed from the Play Store, go ahead and boot into safe mode, test things out, and see if it fixes it. If, it, if booting into safe mode does fix your issue, then the next step is to find out which of these third-party apps is causing the issue. You'll need to boot back into regular mode and either disable them individually and do your tests again or to uninstall them completely and do your tests again. So to get out of safe mode we just need to long press on the power button again to bring up the power menu tap on power off once the device is off we long press on the power button again to turn the phone back on and just like before it's going to go through the typical boot sequence and it's going to take us back to Android this time you should not see the safe mode the safe mode watermark at the bottom left and then you'll be able to use your third-party applications like normal